Wow. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wednesday night. I'm not sure what I did there, but I loaded the wrong video, but that is certainly okay. It was what it needed to be. And I, whoops, excuse me, move my camera around. It's stuck on something. Uh, it, I'm a big believer in it certainly is meant to be what it is meant to be. So um, obviously having a change was a good change tonight. So I will make sure I have the right video loaded next week. I'm not even sure why I didn't even have it already up. It's called technology and we are certainly in Mercury retrograde. I hope everybody is doing well. We've got some people coming in already. Hey, Kim. My mum is here. Lovely to see you and have tea with you tonight, mum and dad. Chloe. Hey, honey. Julie is here. Hey, honey. How are you going? Um, oh, how beautiful. Kim saying hi to my mum. Rashina is here. Hey, honey. Uh, hi, I hope you are well. I am doing well. Thank you, hon. Brenda is also here. Samara, I will come back to your questions very shortly as well. Brooke's here. Hey, hon. How are you going? Uh, Rashina, uh, Samara, Mum, Mums. Sorry, honey, if I said that wrong. The beautiful, ah, the list is moving really quickly. We've got a few people coming in. Sarah, Penny. Hey, Penny from Ballarat. I so look forward to being able to get back across the border and uh, do some more work over there in um, Ballarat. So, hey, Sue, Nicole. Hey, honey, Karen, Sarah. Debbie, hey honey, I've had a lovely day, thank you. And what about yourself? Diane, Paige, and I think I have said hello to everybody that has joined in. So if you are watching, please say hi. Let me know you are watching in the comments. Um, that we are being broadcasted to my, uh, my Time TV, Leanne Winston Psychic Medium, and YouTube, my YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, jump over to YouTube, Leanne Winston Psychic Medium, and certainly hit the follow button. I am planning on doing some little videos and having questionnaire time and stuff like that. Um, whether I do that on Facebook or I just make that a YouTube thing, I'm not too sure at this stage. Uh, still in the planning stages, and I'm certainly keen to start to get YouTube working a little bit better in that sense so welcome to wednesday night for those that are joining in that haven't stopped before because i am seeing there are some new names here watching as well welcome to you i am leanne winston psychic medium i ask people to help me spread the love invite your friends and family by hitting that share button you never know when somebody will get that message or that little bit of guidance that they are needing also please when we ask questions tonight I ask you to keep them to direct questions or if you would like me to pull a card, you can hashtag card and I am using my own deck of inner soul guidance cards that Deb and I had published, I think it was May last year, we hit the market with them. So um, I am happy to pull a card for you guys as well. I do have some of my beautiful inner soul Sorry, my inner circle members down in the green room. So I will bring them up and say hello to them as well. Just if you would like to be join my inner circle um, family membership, you can go to, I'll hit the right side, leannewinston.com become slash a slash member. Um, there is two memberships. There's the $2.97 a year. Uh, or $40 a month. Now that one is actually on special and I think it's down to uh, $237 until the 31st of January. So you can get in, save yourself some money as well as you will receive a deck of my cards in the post, mine and Deb's cards, um, as part of a bonus for that. And you get about $6,000 worth of workshops, uh, meditations, blogs, weekly guidance videos i am now as of the end of this month adding a monthly guidance videos to that um, platform as well or oh, we have the lwpm 
mini membership, which is $97 a year. Now I am talking Australian dollars for those overseas or $10 a month that you can join in. You get to come up on Wednesday nights like the beautiful members in the green room at the moment and I will bring them up on screen. You will also get the weekly guidance videos you get access to um, the down. Sorry, you get access to the meditations there inside of the platform as well, and you never know when things are going to be added. Ah, oh, here's my auntie. Hey, Auntie Susie. Hope you're doing well and staying cool. We have the beautiful Sandra saying hi, good evening, and saying hi to my mum as well. And I hope you're doing really well, hum, at the same time. So, Vicky, hey, gorgeous. How you going? Mansa said hi. I'm not sure if I said hi to Julie. Um, Lana's here as well. Hey, honey. Uh, Sarah Page. I think we, oh, we've got beautiful. We've got people tagging other people. Cherie's here. Beautiful. Tash. Hey, honey. Hey, Cherie. Um, Lisa's here. Hey, hun. How you going? Joanna is also here as well. So we will get to your cards very shortly. Um, and I will ask questions. So please do ask your questions as a direct question. So I can try to get through as many of you as possible. If it is a general question, I am likely to pull your card. I am feeling a little bit tired. I'm still getting over last week. So um I hit the road, or Ros and I, mum hit the road on Wednesday morning to Border Town, spent a couple of days there seeing some absolutely beautiful clients, met some new, new um, beautiful souls, as well as reconnected with some past clients that we've had there as well. And then we moved on to Mount Gambia for a couple of nights as well, reading there and once again, new clients there as well as some regular clients. So thank you to everybody that comes out. Thank you to everybody that supports us on these road trips as well because Ros and I do love doing them. We certainly have a good laugh as my mum has discovered. <laughs> So uh, it is certainly very entertaining when Rosa and I get together. Sorry, I've got spirit irritating my nose. And it seems to be a common thing lately that they play with my nose. And uh, Tay is here as well. Hey, honey. So I just want to wish everybody a beautiful, uh, and I know the day is nearly over, Australia Day. Now, no matter where you are, I want you to celebrate this day as it's your own and I want you to own who you are is my suggestion and I was actually thinking about this a little bit earlier. Hey Marianne, because these lives go out across the world, I have followers across the world and it isn't really about Australia Day. Not just Australia Day, I should say. For those here in Australia, yes, it's got big meaning to it. We have a public holiday as it is today. But I think it's time with the way that the world has been the last couple of years that we need to stop and celebrate ourselves no matter where we are, what our religions, our beliefs, our cultures are. I really think that we need to take a moment and realise who we actually are as a person and stay in that true energy and do us. Because there's so much grief, so much fear, so much, a lot of different energies going on. It really is a big, um, a mixed bag of emotions and energies going on um, the last couple of years. And the universe has been through some major shifts and a lot of us have been feeling very unsettled. So take the time. And I, I kind of think it's something we really need to do maybe on a weekly or a daily basis for some people is take that moment, acknowledge who we are, what we do, what our struggles are, what are, you know, what are the positives that we go through and acknowledge the challenges that we have been through because we all have massive, massive lessons in life to learn and some of us learn them at different speeds. Some of us will learn and take a repeated um, process over and over where we don't learn from those, uh, those lessons and we keep repeating the mistakes. Now, it really isn't about the mistake. It's I believe it's about how we move forward from those those actions in how we um, 
grow from that, how we evolve. So like I said, happy Australia Day, but I really do think it is about acknowledging who we are, our cultures, our beliefs, our challenges, and stand in that true energy of that as well with that. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, please do ask them. It doesn't necessarily have to be about readings. I am planning on doing a few uh, live sessions where people can ask questions because what is happening? Thank you, Julie. I really appreciate uh, your feedback there as well. Um, so as I was saying, I, I'm planning on doing some live questionnaire sessions where people can send me in questions or you can come up on screen and you can ask the questions and I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Because what I am finding, and this, this year especially, but this whole decade, so many more people are going to set, step into that loving energy where your intuition is going to come more to the forefront. And it is very confusing for some people because people do get confused with what they are thinking. Um, oh, thank you, Amy. You are very welcome. Thank you for your kind uh, message there as well. It's my pleasure. That does have thank you. Yes, it's scrolling very slowly. And we also have Lily here as well. Hey, honey. So as I was saying, so many people are confused by their intuition. Not everybody understands it. And believe me, for a, quite a big part of my life, it took me a lot to learn and trust in my intuition, not knowing why I get this stuff, um, what it means and, and things like that. So I am here to help people grow and I would love to, you know, if I can help you understand how it is that you work and if you want to strengthen that, I am certainly here to help you work out how you work and how to strengthen that. And I honestly feel that by bringing our focus back into our intuition back into balance we are going to find we're going to have a lot less anxiety in our lives and maybe even depression as well because i totally believe that they are connected so let me know in the comments do you get anxiety or do you get um depression you might find that it's a build up of both hey rose how are you going hun um so kerry is here as well um i'm here I hear my loved ones. Okay, so Amy's saying, let me click on that. Amy's saying, I hear my loved ones say to my name, but that's that it. I call focus on connection more. Yeah, beautiful. They will call our names. And for those that know my husband, um, and I know a lot of you probably don't, I don't share a lot about my family on here. My husband is quite a skeptic, even though we have been married for. I think it's like nearly 30, 26 years and probably been together for nearly 30 years. He is very supportive of what I do, but there is still very much a sceptic side to him. So, and it's really funny because he works in the train, um, train industry and in passenger trains and him and his co-worker were in this cart together or carriage, I guess they call them in the technical terms, and they both heard a male's voice. Both looked at each other and said, you did hear that, didn't you? And they both agreed with that. They did a search through the carriage to make sure nobody had fallen over or got stuck between seats or needed help or anything like that. So that was the first thing that he's really noticed lately. Then it was only about two, oh, a week and a half, two weeks ago, I woke up and he said, I got woken up by an older lady calling my name. So they were calling Liam to the point that he was so convinced there was somebody at the front door because the front door is very close to our bedroom that he was just, like, he was thinking, do I get up and check or not sort of thing. So it's really interesting how people's intuition is opening up their connection with uh, with spirit and my husband would be the first person that say to you no I am not intuitive I am not able to connect with spirit he is more the scientific mindset sort of thing so a lot of people are seeing it they are finding that their intuition is coming more to the forefront and they aren't 
necessarily understanding how it works. Now we have Amy saying she's got both, so anxiety and depression, same as Mary Ann. Hey Cindy, how are you going, honey? I'm getting to um, to readings very shortly. Paige says I experience both anxiety and depression. Uh, Lily says I have noticed lots of synchronicities uh, to with numbers. Beautiful. That is certainly a sign. Christine, Chrissy's here as well. Hey, honey, how are we going, Christine? So um, Rashina is letting me know. Oops, sorry, that just skipped uh, her comment. Rashina has got both. I like the little eyes, hun. And Kristen is saying, I have anxiety. All right, so for those people that have answered either way, I want you to think about when the anxiety comes on at the moment. Do you find there's things going on in your life? Is there a trigger with that? So let me know, do you feel there is a trigger to your anxiety? Okay. Uh, Amy says, how do you develop it more? what I need to figure out. Honey, I'm here to help you if you would like me to help. And I always say go by who you are drawn. Now, I do have a beginner's level one development class that is an online class that um, you sign up for it. You can go to my website, leannewinston.com and go into the workshop area. You purchase it. It is a five module workshop full of each uh, module is full of videos and you work through it at your own speed hum and then when you finish the last module you let me know and we book in a time and we have a zoom or a phone call meeting we go through what you've learned look at how we can strengthen it and I can help pardon me guide you more in that way as well so if you'd like to do that uh, certainly uh, do reach out if you have any more questions about that certainly send me a message okay I love watching people grow into their intuition now we all have our intuition we all are able to do what I do it is about fine-tuning it strengthening it moving the blocks and just really understanding how things work and how your signage works as well with that all right and this is the thing we are going to find more and more people opening up to it and more and more people getting anxiety and depression in that sense um hey joanne how are you going honey i'm having a, um, a terrible day so got in the car and went to drive, went to back to the beach. It helped. Beautiful. Grounding, hun. Being in nature, it helps. Hey, Katia, how are you going? Um, Lily says depression comes in at times. Amy's saying yes, uh, and she loves that. Beautiful. Robin says, can I have a reading? We will certainly get to them very shortly. Uh, Sandra is saying hi I was just wondering if there are any messages from mum or Philip. I will certainly get to doing those very shortly. Uh, Paige says think. Amy says yes definitely. All right so beautiful. So some of you, hey Nat, how are you going? And we have Joanna here as well. All right uh, I'm certainly getting to readings very shortly hun so just hang in there and you never know there might be something interesting in what we're talking about that might help you understand your uh, English your intuition as well uh, Carrie I don't think I acknowledged Jihan um, I have all, all of the above but recently turned a corner uh, for the better however lots of strange things happen and my son is also experiencing it having experiences that doesn't surprise me Hannah and things are whoops moving opening up more and more with the universal changes and stuff like that as well so just say a big hello to everybody that is coming in we are certainly finding more and more names come in now just before I forget I haven't done that as yet and I haven't seen one as yet but we do get scammers on our shows unfortunately if you get anybody inbox you for a free reading or ask you to connect with them through um, a DM or a PM please do not reach it like connect back because they are scammers they do not offer you free readings they will make a promise and then ask you to sign up with something with your credit card in it or ask you give you a little bit 
and then ask you for money um, in that sense. So please, if you do get them, report them to Facebook and block them as well with that. All right, so as I was explaining, a lot of people are getting anxiety and depression of late. Now, I have noticed the last couple of months, probably the last four or five months actually, that people's anxiety is changing. So I, I want to make it very clear I am not trained in medical in any way. What comes through comes through from spirit and I can only give you that guidance. Now, there, I believe there is a very fine line between mental health and intuition, okay? And what I am noticing these last few months is people's anxiety is really in heightened, but their intuition is opening up. It's like they're evolving. Their vibra energy vibrations are lifting so their intuition becomes more in high and more active. And if you're not understanding the signs that Spirit's giving you or the information that they are putting in front of you, they will give you the anxiety or the depression or both to get your attention. So I find myself lately saying to people, if you've got anxiety that kicks in or depression kicking in, take note of what is going on in your life at that time, okay? And trust what you feel, you think, you see, you hear, you know, because that's how spirit will connect with us. So if spirit is trying to get your attention, they will keep pushing and pushing and pushing until they get it. Anxiety and depression are usually one of the last ways that they will get your attention. They will pull us up. They kick our bums. They know what we need more than what we need or know sort of thing in that sense. So please, if you are finding that you've got anxiety and depression, it's more in heightened than um, it normally would be. Hey, Carrie Ann, please do take notice of what's going on in that time. Take, feel the anxiety come on. Take a deep breath. Ground yourself. Okay, when you ground yourself, you bring balance back in and you get, it helps to have that clear clarity sort of thing. So, and look at what's going on. Why is it going on? What are they trying to show you? And if you can't understand it, you may need to ask them to give you a clearer picture or use any of your other um, communication skills in that way. So it might be, they're trying to talk to you and you're not understanding it. So maybe they give you a, a clear picture of it or a thought process sort of thing or a feeling in that way. A lot of us hear our own voices in our own head. That can be that connection with spirit, especially if you're not trying to think of things, but it just pops in. All right. So, guys, before we get into readings, I'm going to jump down and say hello to the beautiful uh, Inner Soul members in a second. But I do ask you to keep head, hitting the share button. Invite your friends and family to join in as well. Um, Kristen's just saying, this is happening to me, but I can't understand the messages. So, honey, if you're interested, check out my Beginners Level 1 class because it will help you work out how you get the messages, what they mean. Everybody has their own symbolisation. I call it um, the dictionary of signs type of thing. They will use things in our life that we can reference to and use them as signs. So hopefully that helps as well. All right, Alicia was the very first one in the uh, green room. So let's bring her up and say hello. Hello. Oh, hey, honey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good. I love the purple hair. That's Thank so cute. You. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? Yeah, good. Excellent. So keeping busy, staying cool? Trying to. Spent the day at the beach and then a barbecue. So <sighs> Lovely. Uh, out in the sun, really tired. Yeah, it gets. I actually think it's the weather today. I've spent most of the day inside or sh like food shopping. Yeah. And then we went to Marybridge and I had tea with mum and dad. Um, but all of us are complaining we're tired so i'm actually wondering if it's more the weather sort of thing at the moment that's doing it to us so I, but i had the intention to go and sit up on the river with mum and dad earlier in the day and it was just like oh, i can't move i'm too yeah. tired yeah. <laughs> so beautiful and then still welcome as well 
Yeah, no, I no. haven't seen her in a like a few days, probably just over a week or something. Yeah. But yeah, she's still on her app. So then, Excellent. yeah, mum uh, says hi to. Hey, mum. So we still have to catch up for that coffee and chat. I haven't forgotten. Yeah. The year's just so much gone away from us. So we will do that. Yes. Beautiful. Did you have a question you'd like to ask? Um, any updates on my future husband when he's hurrying up <laughs> coming along? Hurrying up coming along. I love that. Um, okay. Oh, I've got a, a flutter. <laughs> heart flutter when I tuned into that so I don't feel he's too far away what are you I know you've got like being forced to go through some changes yourself sort of thing with work and stuff like that what else is changing because my feeling is we change this new person's coming into your life um I think more just that I'm focusing on like I'm trying to grow the hypnosis, Perfect. the cards, like that side of things. And I'm really focused yeah. on that. And I think I wouldn't know how to explain, like I think politically kind of aligning a bit more, even though we're to the hot topic at the moment, we're completely opposite ends of the earth with. But I yeah. think other things are, there's probably more in common than might have been realised at the start for him. Yeah, okay. Because I get change is needed and okay. change is heading in the right direction. So the okay. whole time you were talking about all that, I was getting that excited feeling like this is huge, this is building. Yeah. It's finally actually moving. Yeah. Some yeah. of the things like that. So to me it's like the relationship is a new beginning. Okay. Sort of thing. So to me, I do feel within the next couple of months things are going to go to the next step. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for you. It's been long enough. <laughs> uh, and, and that's the thing. I think things energetically have needed to move through and the timing yeah. is huge for a lot of us this year. So, you know, a lot of us have spent a lot of time doing work on ourselves and, you know, doing the hard work in, in different areas of our life. But it's like we are sick of it, but we are waiting yeah. for the right timing to fall in place for things to yeah. move through. Yeah. So it is coming. Yeah. So, <laughs> be ready. Be open. <laughs> All right. So just okay. focus on you, and I get the. And that's a big thing at the moment. I keep saying, people just do you. Yeah. And when we do us, this is where everything else is going to fall into place. Yeah. So the magic will happen when we allow it to flow. Yeah. All right. Excellent. All right, honey, we have to keep me updated how it's going. I will. I'll tell you if I can tell that. I won't. <laughs> <She'll be great. laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, give my love to Mum and Nana, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you guys soon. Yeah. Love All right. Thank you. See you, hun. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. All right, Kerry, I don't know why, but your um, comment caught my attention. Trying to nurse the signs more, and it's amazing what... I am now uh, I am now picking up on I didn't think I'm going crazy after all and it's not just my imagination it's like the penny has dropped so true honey and I love the way you say that because so I have known people um, that have like in this industry that have gone through what you would most people would call a nervous breakdown thinking they're going crazy and families feel like they're going, their family feels like they've gone crazy as well. So it is very much intuitive related in that way. So thanks, Brooke, 100%. Um, so please, you know, if you are feeling like you're hearing voices, you're, you're feeling things that you don't normally feel, that can be your intuition as well. All right, let's bring Dee up and say hi to Dee and then we'll say hi to Sue and then we will jump into questions as well. And Kerry's just saying yes. Hey, honey, how are you going? Uh, good. That's good. Excuse my throat. I think I've talked that much the last four or five days. It's finally catching up with me. So happy Australia Day. It is, isn't it? It's lovely. Although we didn't celebrate, it was like, oh, yeah, another day. Yeah, I kind of felt like that. And my daughter's going, Mum, we've got to do something. So, um, beautiful. Uh, Paige is saying someone's trying to send me a message, but I can't hear. Oh, okay, we'll come to that in a moment, honey. Um, so would you like to ask a question? 
Once the kids go home, which I'm missing them already and they haven't even yes. gone home yet, <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, it's only a week away. Yeah. Um, I know things haven't settled down and things haven't come to a forefront yet with mental health issues, but yeah. are things going to settle down? I, I got just, you. yes, but for that to happen, the focus needs to come back to you. All right. Yeah. So as much as you've got all this going on around you, when the kids go home, I get I feel like it's already pulling on your heartstrings. So mm. yeah, which is normal. And you know it's coming type of thing. So it's also yeah. a part of a way of um preparing your mum's tickling my nose. I know. Um, as soon as you said earlier, I thought <laughs> she can leave my nose alone <laughs> so um so please do and i feel she does that to you at times to get your attention as well yeah. so whether you're finding the tickle to your nose more so lately um i just get the reference to once the kids have gone home you need to give yourself permission to focus on you and when you've yeah. got that balance back in your life and things are flowing everything else is going to flow into effect as well. When you are unsettled, the family's unsettled, so to speak. Oh. So I just get that feeling like your energy the last, I want to say probably six weeks more so, has been pulled on in different directions. Oh. It's now time to take that power back, stand in your energy, bring that balance back in and set your your um, boundaries. And when you're doing that, you're going to recharge your batteries as well because I've been feeling you're tired sort of thing actually i i am tonight i feel teary i feel tired emotionally physically yeah a lot and i was actually just saying to my husband i just feel like we're not connecting um I'm, i said to him um i want to get a kitten so i can reconnect with nature um i want aaron to reconnect with something because he's not yeah um, he doesn't connect with a dog whereas he connected with a cat um, yeah. but yeah, I just feel I'm lost. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are starting to feel that at the moment because yeah. this energy has been really crazy. Um, Joanne saying she hears you, Dee. She's feeling the same way. And yeah. that's the thing is the universal energy has been through so much. We are going mm -hmm. through major changes and a lot of people are starting to feel unsettled up in the air feeling like they're being tested again in that way so you know yeah. it, it's really important when we get to this stage or we start to feel ourselves moving into that energy take us and joanna i feel this is for you too honey at the moment take a step back out of the energy let the crazy be crazy around you so to speak energy wise oh. but ground yourself take a deep breath bring that focus back within ourselves and look at like a lot of you have heard me say recently take notes and um, look at what you know your heart desires what your passions are your needs mm. are what you are working towards and bring that focus back into that and when we do we are going to bring that balance back in and things will settle and the magic will start to hear yeah so, I, I just yeah. want to get my house back to normal yep well, that makes a whole difference, doesn't it? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I've got baskets of clothes. I've got toys. I've got shoes. I've got... Oh. Yeah. It's like, okay. But, you know, I want to get Aaron back at school because I'm homeschooling him still. Um, yeah. I want to get that organised, but I want time for me. Yeah. And at exactly. the moment, I'm sharing a car and I don't have time for me. Yeah exactly and it's amazing when you can get out in the car and just drive how peaceful yeah. that can be i find that myself i just love to sit like i might have the music low but it's just peace and quiet it's my time the yeah. mind wanders type of thing so caitlin's also saying she feels your d uh, i've been feeling so down drained and not wanting to do anything no. anymore see you're not alone honey and for those that are making comments as well, please know that you're not in this alone either because yeah. there is so much going on um, sort of it thing. It is the weirdest like, feeling. It is like the weirdest feeling. Yeah. You know, like I just can't pull it together. Everything feels like it's in limbo, like it's going to come crashing down. Um, sort of a damned if you do, damned if you don't feeling. 
Um, yeah. Like I've put on 30, 40 kilos. Yeah. I and, just, it's a, and to me, the weight gain is a way of protecting ourselves mm. without realising that's what we're actually doing. Yeah. This sort of thing. Dee, you're one of our beautiful Inner Soul members and you get the weekly guidance and um, Spirit's drawing me to this. How would you say those weekly guidance cards help you? Oh, I love them. Yeah. And also the fact that um, you are so honest and you kick my butt when I need it. <laughs> I love Spirit that. kicks my butt, so, you know, <laughs> you've got to share. <laughs> But I do love the cards and I love your cards and I love the readings and I love the fact that I can come on here, be honest, and you've got a community that no one puts anyone down. It's beautiful. And the way you all support each other, that would be my biggest thing I am the most proudest of and honoured to have that sort of thing. But you find like when you receive the weekly guidance cards, that gives you a bit of an insight to the week that's coming that sort of helps yeah Sometimes the reason I don't get to read until the middle of the week yeah you read them when you're meant to that's the way I look at it. like you watch the yeah. videos when you're meant to sort of thing because everybody is different I just sort of said it for the beginning of the week just the reason I asked that is because spirit was drawing me to the fact there are a lot of people that are putting similar comments to what you're sort of feeling mm -hmm. in the um the the mess like the feed and are feeling feeling very much up in the air spirits just making reference to it's things like this that we can get that bit of guidance to help us understand why things yeah. are coming up what's coming up so we are that little bit more mentally and energetically prepared for it so yeah lovely people if you need to or are drawn to and want that extra help that you don't feel that you can do it on your own jump into at least the mini membership so you are getting those guidance oh, yeah. you can get more information from that link above my head i don't want to i didn't want to push that i wasn't going to bring it up again <laughs> but it is very much um pushing that as well in that way so but even so, just on a wednesday getting a one card it's just enough to say you know to yeah. make you feel good inside. And when you've got other people, it's like, you know what, I'm not going through this world alone. Yeah, exactly, and that's really important. Yeah. And you know how you said about me kicking your butt? The yeah. card's kicking your butt tonight. So oh, yeah. <laughs> the Camille is very much about stop. Oh, where's the camera? Yeah. Um, <laughs> very much about stop hiding in the shadows. Come to the yeah. forefront. Demand that respect, that, that focus. You are worthy mm -hmm. of that time, that energy, and to, not just from others but from yourself as well. And so. I have fallen back into that old steps, yeah. that old habit of getting your, getting your place or else, Yeah, and I just draw back and withdraw. Yeah. And, and do you know what? Brilliant. You're not the only one, hun. Mm -hmm. So many people are finding the old habits coming up, and I believe... And I, I've felt this for the last 12 months. Every time we fall back into those old habits, oh. it's like this test. Okay, we're just, the universe is going to test you and see how you handle this. Do you yeah. go back into old habits and fall in that heap and go back to, you know, the anxiety, the depression? For some people, it's the poor me type of thing. Or have you learned from those past lessons and you stop and you think about how I'm moving forward from this? Oh sort of thing because we, we've got two choices we can either fall back into our old habits or we can turn it around and make that shift so we can move forward as well with that so yeah i've backed off because it's been i've had the two extra kids here yeah. and i've had to deflate the situation in a hell of a hurry rather yeah. than you know what back off yeah i but deflated it. it instead and backed off myself because yeah. i've had to think of who's around me Exactly. And the younger ones are more important than what. Yeah. You know, I can deal with it. I'm strong. I'm an adult. So they don't have to deal with the shit. Exactly. That's yeah. it. So, and you've had a lot going on. So don't be hard on yourself. Those days are <laughs> uh, limited to until the kids go home, but also look at yeah. it as a positive. You've had that beautiful time with that connection with them, but at the same time now you can bring that focus back to you. I've loved every minute and I wouldn't give it up for the world. I've actually said, um, can I take them next year too? 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. So okay. put it in the diary now. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, but I'll, they'll let me know in June, July if I get them next year. And I'm like, oh, I yeah. have to. I think it's my dad a rest. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. but thank you. Have a good night. You everybody. are welcome. Um, so you have to go through and read the comments because there's some. There's a few people saying that they feel you at the moment. And I will. I'll go in on that. Down. I'll yeah. go in now. <laughs> Beautiful. Good to see you. Hand lots of love okay. and night. take care. Good night. Good night. And please. If you are going through things, know that you're not alone um, with what is going on at the moment because the universe uh, energy has been really hectic as well. Uh, when, oh, yep, uh, the thing, oh, okay, so uh, I think that was just to add on to we've been uh, travel by ourselves and went for the drive. The best thing, honestly, it really is. It's taking time out. It's getting away from that energy as well with that. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pull a couple of cards and then we will jump in and say hi to Sue and Jen um, as well with that. So, uh, Kristen, the card that has come out for you is the Rings card and it's very much about the time of coming together the promises, the protection, and that side of it, all right? So look at how things are starting to fall into place. Look at the promises that you make, put your protection up, and stay focused in that way, all right? So all the best to you, honey. Um, Brooke is just saying the vibrations is hard right now, D. Uh, you will be okay, beautiful. She certainly will be. D always bounces back. Pardon me, but sometimes like us all, we just need that little bit of direction, a little bit of understanding and know that we aren't alone in that way. But it says, I think we all need to focus on our inner self perfectly. Hun. I totally agree. And that um, inner self and generally caring for our soul since they have been through so much over the last two years. It is. And, you know, I see this last two years as much as there's so much fear and sadness around it, it has been a positive as well because it's pushing us in the direction that we need to go. So thank you, honey. And that is so well said. Um, so Oh, that's Caitlin's message about not wanting to do anything. Kerry says, uh, I've never had, never been a part of this before. It's amazing. Not sure how it all works and I don't want to bombard you. <laughs> the nose tickle, it, I get that every now and then. Um, okay, so honey, that is quite often spirit trying to get my attention. So when Dee's mum said, <laughs> and I've got spirit playing in the back of my hair as well. So when Dee's mum said, um, came in and was trying to get my attention it's like somebody's got this fine little feather and that tickles my nose so they they will play with my nose to get my attention and if i don't acknowledge them straight away quite often they'll go to that or the touching of the hair or the the cheek side of it um at times i've been flicked when i really do ignore spirit so they will do those things in that way to get our attention all right <clears throat> let's bring the lovely sue up and say hello to her <clears throat> and while she's coming up i'm going to have a mouthful of juice hey hun how are you going good how are you <laughs> yeah good i just had to drown that throat <laughs> i know talking about the tickle <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Went to the throat as well. Now the throat can be very much our throat chakra, not being yeah, able to yeah, speak yeah. up. So yeah, how's your week been? Happy Australia Day. Thank you. Same to you. Uh, it's been a yeah, it's been a good week. Yeah. It's been busy. Beautiful. Keeps yeah. us out of trouble. I who's got time for trouble? I know. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> All right. And it's funny because like my week was really loaded up and then I had people cancel because they've got COVID or they've been in a near um, contact type of thing. And it's like, okay, spirit's trying to tell me something, but that doesn't work in my favour. <laughs> Is it telling you rest? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But that doesn't work for the head and everything else that goes on and pays the bills and whatever oh. else. So I it's know. funny how that works. I know, I know. It's uh, we know it, and 
spirit affirms it and we're like not now not now yeah exactly <laughs> and it's like i always <laughs> i never win mind you when it comes to spirit but you know i try to tell them that i know best these yeah. times <laughs> they just and they're like, sure and they <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and then you just get your bum kicked even harder so <laughs> it's like we'll see how that works for you <laughs> yeah exactly that's it yeah, did you have a question how you'd like to ask um yes i um there's a couple of things that's coming up and one is the house and i'm just wondering what you see about my house and and our home and oh i kind of feel like i've got one foot in the door one foot out so you think you're moving oh very interesting <laughs> <laughs> i know you want something that's going to be less work sort of thing mm -hmm. so are you on uneven ground because i feel like i need to put you on flat ground yes we are okay all right, so whether that inclined sort of thing is becoming an issue, I just feel like I want to put you on flat ground with that side of it. So I do see change coming, but I feel like I'm going to sit on that for another couple of months before making a decision with that side of it. Yeah. So to me, it's like you got one foot in, one foot out, but um, it's also the past that's holding you back. So would I be right in saying it's letting go of those memories? Uh, I think, yeah, it's because um, it's our first home that we've purchased again after not having a home for a long time yeah. uh, and where we live we absolutely love. Um, and so, yeah. yes, it's, it's you know, it's yeah. a good space. It's a great space. It's not like it's not a great space, yeah. but it is a lot of work Um for two people it's a lot of land and especially for enzo to manage all the land it's just like a lot of work yeah, that's it. and and he's mm. got to keep his mind busy he's got to be doing mm. something but to me something much smaller and flatter yeah. is going to be easier for him yeah what's going on with his back at the moment because i've got back pain the moment you mentioned him lower back pain yeah because what he does is he does this work if you if you see him working in the garden it's like a goat going up the hill because right? yeah. he's like you know going up and, right. and sorting pipes and watering <laughs> things so he does get back pains from doing yeah. that type of work okay. yeah so yeah. my feeling is that it's only going to get worse sort of thing so like i said i yeah. feel like it's going to be another couple of months before you actually make a decision and commit to that decision but it's yeah. just that feeling like do we don't we type of thing the bigger picture is it's way too much now yeah. it's served yeah. the purpose but i do feel something coming along very quickly though when that does happen oh okay and excellent so, and and it's interesting because it's not you know something that um we don't enjoy being here mm. but we do have a figure in our mind where it's like if we get this yeah we're we're like we'll yeah. we'll pack up and go and get something smaller and more manageable yeah. and yeah 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 and i don't feel like you need to go too far from where you are so, yeah. I don't, so to me it's not the feeling like you're moving across town or anything like that but i do get the reference to finding something that is smaller more manageable and something that's going to be uh, give you time to enjoy life more so than doing the hard work yeah yeah uh, and the other question that's like there were two things that just keep popping up and i don't know if it's dad bringing things to the surface because he's just like so in my face <laughs> <laughs> I'm Change. like, all right, all right, <laughs> which is very unlike I him, love it. right? Yep, yep. Um, I just think he's missing me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so do you see anything around uh, close relationships? Okay. And it's funny because I pulled this card and I knew it was for one of your questions with that side ah. of uh, AK. And it's the web card and it's very much about the hard work is behind you. Uh, it's time to look forward. So would I be right in saying the relationship side of thing has been hard in previously? Yep. All right. Yep. So the hardest part is behind you. Bring the focus back into balance. Set mm -hmm. your boundaries and mm. look forward is the reference I get with that. So the past awesome. is the past okay that makes awesome. sense yeah 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 beautiful thank you thank you, you. Are very welcome honey it's lovely to see you we've still got to catch up for a lunch date <laughs> and i've been trying to find your link my link for the 
Yeah, so I can oh. walk you. And, yep. so, and I'm like, I can't find it. So I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. like, I'll give her, a, I'll talk to her next time and we'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> just inbox me and we'll do it there because you want to do face to face, okay. don't you? So if yep. you go through yep. my calendar, that is Zoom and um, phone and email. Yep. So, yeah, and then so I thought we could inbox. kind of tag it with lunch. Matter. Sounds good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love your thinking. <laughs> make, it, make it, a, you know, make it uh, a worthwhile event. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. So, all right, honey. Well, good to see good you when you take care. You too. Thank good you, honey. You too. Making. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 Uh, and that's the thing I think the way the energy is a lot of us are getting in our own heads and doing a lot of thinking at the moment as well DJ says thank you everyone love the beautiful support and take care stay safe oh I'm sure we all will D and thank you for your beautiful message all right let's bring Jen up and say hello I'm going to go over time tonight hubby's not home until like 2 a.m this morning oh I'm going to stay up until 2 a.m <laughs> no <laughs> me either <laughs> I actually put my head on the pillow before going to Murray Bridge for 20 minutes and I'm like I can't even go to sleep for 20 minutes. So <laughs> I am getting very tired. Oh, How are you going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Now, thank you for the suggestion of the scroll queen. It was very yummy the day we had it. Mm. We were going back the second day to take stuff home and mum had some for breakfast. I'm like, mum, you do not eat scroll cheesecake scroll for no, breakfast. No, 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 no. You don't need that negativity <laughs> in your life. No. <laughs> No, and I'm like, whatever you want as a grown ass adult, you're allowed to. Do. You gotta have a cheesecake scroll for breakfast, mate. You. Oh, I couldn't believe walking. That's it. I couldn't believe walking out at like seven thirty in the morning, and that's what she's having for breakfast. I'm like, mum, you told us better than that. <laughs> I'm like, I think I would like it. I think we would get along very well. <laughs> well she said, I hope Jen comes up tonight so I can thank her. <laughs> so, so Roz and I and Mum pigged out. We got a little in trouble because we didn't bring any home for anybody else. <laughs> we were going to go, but then when it wasn't quite as nice the, the next day, we just yeah. decided not to bring any home. We'll just yeah. keep it to ourselves while we're yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is true. Like, they're, still, they're still okay the next day, but they're yeah. like – so good on oh. Thursday. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to eat half before I even sent you a photo to show you that we'd be <laughs> That's bad. Right. I get it because I did the exact oh. same thing. I, I, I bought it and I ate it and I was like, oh, I didn't take any pictures. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's it. And then mum's um, cousin seen it and he's like, are you bringing me some home? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is it was only seven minutes from where we were staying. So while I was reading, Roz had a break. Her and mum went for a drive. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> so, I was so I'm, glad that it, it happened. Yeah, that's it. So we did find out that they are raping seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> so look out next time yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's, that's it excellent, excellent. Oh. you have a question hun you would like to ask you know me oh. i can talk all day <laughs> oh, I have a question. i'm thinking about about applying for a job i'm not yeah i'm thinking of just applying and just like kind of seeing what happens i'm not convinced mm -hmm. that I want it. I'm not convinced. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I should because if I do and then I don't at least get an interview, then that might be bad. <laughs> no, wait. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's it. And the funny thing is, the card I pulled, and while you were saying all that, I'm smiling my head off. So sorry. <laughs> and the wings is very much about spread your wings, take flight. There yeah. are no limitations. Yeah. Say like do it. I figure there's no harm in just applying because I don't know if I'll, you know, get um I'll get I'll be successful. If I am, I can always say no. Like it's exactly it's, yeah, like I, I know these things, but yeah, yeah, like job applications are just so so um, Yeah, that's it. And it's also going back to that, you know, getting too much in the head, overthinking things. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a big believer, and I say this to my husband all the time because he's looking at moving up within his 
um company where he is i'm like if it's meant to be it will be yeah sort of thing so the time will come the right job will present itself to him where he can use his skills yeah. to the fullest yeah. Yeah. well this this job if i was successful and the only reason why i'm kind of thinking about it is purely for the spread your wings type <laughs> stuff like, because it's what can come from that yeah to what i do and i think my skills will be transferable into it but um it's not immediately obvious and it's only yeah. and um and yeah like the only reason why i'm even thinking about it is because my friend is sort of involved in the hr of it and she sent it to me and she said you should apply for this and i was like I don't know how this fits in with my skill set, but uh, yeah, have like, a go. Have yeah. a go. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> have a go. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Do probably. it with the intention. If it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and look, I'm not. Obviously, you can hear in my voice. I'm not entirely convinced about yeah. it. Um, so if it doesn't happen, I don't think I'll be that upset, other than the fact yeah. that everybody always wants to be the best at everything that they do. And so if they put their name forward, they want to be chosen. And if you're yeah. not chosen that, that's it. Yeah. Stuff, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's the thing I quite often say to people, you know, have a go. If it's meant to be, it will be. Sometimes we can become too desperate and, like, we really hold on to that. We can create the blocks. Yeah. So trust and surrender. Trust in yourself. If it's meant to be, it will happen and the things will fall into place. Yeah. Okay. That's the way I look at things. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm starting to get better with this whole go with the flow thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a little time, but we're getting there. <laughs> and that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. We have gone from a decade of having to have the structure the the habits the old ways and stuff like that to instantly needing well pretty much the last couple of years we've been forced to let go of that and i think yeah. that's why a lot of us have been stripped of a lot of things yeah but now it is about trust and surrender yeah. bring that focus back within yeah sort of thing yeah. so it's all mm. learning it's mm. all evolving <laughs> we're all evolving <laughs> Yeah, gotta love okay. her. Yeah. all right honey well good to see you good luck you. i'm sure you will rock it and it will be well, fine we'll <laughs> all right I'll see you all right look forward to it take care bye. have a good week you okay too. bye, bye. bye. Uh, and i think so many of us need to learn how to trust and surrender as well uh, so i'm seeing so many beautiful uh, messages here and that is just saying do you are strong um those thoughts negative into positive everything happens for a reason one day at a time you're an amazing remember that Talk, talking in great um medicine taking in great medicine so beautiful and this is what i love the way this community does come together and um supports each other in that way julie uh hey Leanna, i've covered in spots by its allergies or chicken pox the doctor doesn't know. I'm actually more drawn to, I actually feel like um, you need to have a blood test done because I feel like you've got toxins in your body. So to me, I want to say it's more of a rushy type thing that your body is um, detoxing through your system sort of thing is what I'm drawn to. So it might be worth if it doesn't settle down, have your doctor run some bloods and see what the, um, I don't want to call it an infection, but I do feel like I've got toxins, like your body's trying to purge something at the moment. All right. So let me know how you go with that, honey. All right. Lily says, do you have any messages for me around Wednesday the 2nd? I actually feel a little bit excited about that, honey. I've kind of felt like my heart missed a beat with that side of it. I feel things are going to go a little bit better than you expected, but it's okay. I want to say trust in yourself, all right? So to me, it's the feeling that there's a lot of doubt that comes in. There's a lot of questioning. Put yourself first and see what you want that outcome to be and see it being a positive thing and focusing on that because I do get that things are going to end up better than what you're expecting. All right, so all the best there as well, hum. Um, 
can you please use oh, there's another idiot there as well nisha says hi Lynn. last time i was on you picked up three people from for me or from me my pop grandma and my ex jesse just wondering if you have any messages for me um, messages from any of them please and thank you honey who's having a baby or planning the baby because i've got a baby in waiting coming through and it was like that energy was really pushing very quickly in that sense so um sort of more in heightened energy with that i also feel like i need to acknowledge the birthday that literally has just been or about to so the birthday the celebration side of uh okay so um please know that very much around you uh i've got my hand on my heart and i get the reference to that there's a lot of love and pride that comes through for you all right things are going to start getting easier because i just feel like you've been challenged a bit lately as well okay uh joanne can you have a card of course you can um okay the fish, and you've just been to the beach. I love that. Find your inspiration, creation, and creative, and grow from that. All right. So go back within. Look at what you're passionate about. Find that focus once again. Okay. I know things have been a bit hectic. Um, so bring the, the energy is hectic around you, but it will settle. Is the reference I get. Mum saying thanks, Jen, for the scroll. <laughs> I went to the scroll place. Um, Julie, happening with property settlement, please. I feel like I've got a little bit of a delay, honey, with that. So could that be part of the rush stuff as well? Stress toxins going through your body yes it will settle um soon is the reference i get with that okay 100 uh, percent green now i'm not wasting it. <laughs> mom said she wasn't thrown away that's why she ate it for breakfast i would have gone at least morning tea not breakfast uh, i aisha sorry honey if i said your name wrong hey leah i'm wondering if you Feel, um, if you feel drawn to me at all would you uh, would love anything right now well um, you haven't actually asked a um a direct question or a card so i'm just going to pull you a card honey and the wings cards come out again so to me very much time about spreading your wings take flight and know that the only limitations that there are are those that you put on yourself so push your boundaries don't be scared to lean into that sort of um, unknown energy at the moment and trust in yourself. Okay, so all the best there. Uh, Viv, hey honey, I don't think I've seen your name in the thing before, but welcome. Uh, hey lovely, my partner and I separated a few days ago. Do you see us working things out? Unfortunately, honey, I'm not. I actually feel things are going to become more in heightened. So I feel your frustration with him is going to grow in that side of it so whether um he's not putting in the effort um or things aren't coming together the way that you wanted them to i actually feel that you're going to push each other further apart than get things sorted so sorry hannah i know it's probably not what you wanted to hear communication is the key okay uh page will i move into my apartment within the next two months i've got a yes honey with that i think things are going to move even quicker than that okay so good luck with that deb says hi Liam. will my oldest boy find a job soon yes i want to put him into something with his hands and that will make him help so something is useful with his hands okay and uh, tracy will i move house this year and will it be a house as i don't want to be in a flat thanks i get yes and yes honey with that so yes to both louisa says good how are you going honey good evening ladies uh just catching the end of the live will i have watch uh, we'll have to watch the replay but would love a card if you are drawn to me certainly hum the star so the star is very much um looking at the stars it's time to manifest visualize what you are planning and set your goals so focus on what you're moving forward into honey what it is that you want in that way and things will happen okay um just be patient is the reference i get with that Tanya, hey gorgeous, how are you going? Now I'm back your way in March. 
but I get the feeling that you may be moving before then. Evening, will I go away February? Yes. Yes, you will. Okay. Uh, Kerry, is there anything you can tell me regarding the number 11? <coughs> Think I have... Oh, God, sorry, I have to drain. Did I do this with you before too, Kerry? I think you asked me about the nose, honey, didn't you? And then... I jumped into Sue and I got the blocked throat chakra. All of a sudden, I started reading your message. I've got that again. I will chat. I will. I will go deeper into that in a moment. And uh, regarding the number eleven, think I have going on. I think I may have put it together. Is there anything you can add? Okay, so honey, the 11 is more about spirit, letting you know that they are very much present. Some people will see it as 11.11 .11 or 1111. Um, people will see things like 1010. They're repeating the numbers 4444. They are very much spirit um, and angel numbers in that sense. So the 11 is a master number. It's very strong. All right, so if you're looking at the, the 11 as universal, it's very strong energy. If you're looking at as uh, 11 or 11, 11, it's very much about spirit letting you know that they are there. Now, <clears throat> the throat chakra, because I seemed, I'm pretty sure it was your message about the nose when I started to get that block throat chakra before. The throat chakra sits very much here, for those that don't um, know about the throat chakra. It's um, an energy point. We have the chakra system through our body and they are energy points that spin, all right? They help us keep balance. If they're out of balance, um, things get a bit wobbly, so to speak, in our lives. So the throat chakra is very much about communication. Now, honey, with yours, I feel like I've got to clear my throat. So you may find that you're clearing your throat, the lump to the throat. Um, pardon me for some... Sometimes I find my voice will change when the throat chakra is blocked when I'm reading for others in that way and picking it up. Like I said, very much about communication. So if it's blocked, you will get those <coughs> sort of feelings or the dry throat or whatever else. Look at what's going on in your life at that time. Look at where you need to speak up. If you're speaking up, it means you're not being heard in the way that you need to be. So stay before, make sure you get... Um, heard and be able to communicate if you can't say those things I suggest to people put pen to paper write stuff down so you can let go of that energy and free it in that sense as well so honey where are you not being heard or not being able to say that what you need to say in your life at the moment okay um all right Caitlin hey gorgeous how are you and your lovely wife going and how's mum uh, can you please give me some insight, please, about when we will buy a home? Oh, I'm actually drawn more to the end of next year, honey. So to me, it's more about finding, I want to say, look at schemes that are available out there. So whether it's like first home buyers, government incentives, that side of it. But I'm drawn to more later next year with that side. It'll be worth the wait, huh, is the reference I get. So love to you all. Uh, Rasheen, I haven't done one for you today. Uh, so my daughter has a problem with her muscle in her eye. Been to the doctor, says it might heal or she may need surgery. What do you see? Please, I actually am more drawn to putting a patch on the eye, honey, on the good eye and making the, um, the muscle in the weaker eye work stronger like strengthening it so i don't know if that's something that they have talked to you about but i'm more drawn to trying those things and surgery being the last option i don't feel the need to go into surgery with it okay uh lily you are very welcome oh she says you are amazing thank you for your beautiful words hun uh sarah says will i meet my partner soon I actually kind of feel like you've crossed tracks very, very briefly already, honey. And I do get yes soon. Okay. Tony says, oops, autocorrect. Will I go away in February? I think that's what I read, hun. Um, okay. Amy, remember soulmates come in all different... And this I don't know why I'm sharing this because I don't think it's just for Amy. I think it's for everybody. Soulmates come in different forms 
all right please is my soulmate there with a message he died sunday unexpectedly oh honey my heart goes out to you sending you lots of love and healing as well um okay his energy isn't very weak which is quite often common when they haven't long passed over i get a cheeky energy and i actually feel like you feel his smile around you at times as well all right and i get look at the signs from spirit so to me it's a feeling he will find ways to let you know that he is very much there okay time heals all is the reference i've got is that a song reference or something because i feel like i've got a song reference like a meaning to a song reference for you guys all right so maybe you can let me know in the comments what that means time heals all okay um samara hi do you see the issue i'm having with my workplace resolving or will it become uh, will i be moving forward i kind of feel like i want to move forward because i feel like things will resolve but repeat itself okay so uh, it will um move through this time but come up again so to me it's not going to be finalized in that way until you do move forward okay lisa hey and hope you're well want to know what you see for my number two child i am doing well thank you for asking honey okay number two i feel frustrated so what I'd be right in saying there's a lot of frustration around uh, number two child at the moment, honey. My feeling is it's a feeling it's going to sit like that for another couple of months before things start to settle. And then I do get the reference to heading in the right direction. Okay. Um, I want to say ask the questions. So what does that mean to you? Are you needing to ask more questions um, around your second child in that situation? Or do you not have the full understanding or the full knowledge of it all? Because I just feel like we've got to ask the questions to get the answers and keep asking. So please let me know in the comments, honey, if that makes sense to you. Um, Viv, you are very welcome, honey. All right. I know some of these questions have been answered already and <laughs> i am running behind thank you liana i've um i'm really hopeful all right um uh, my heart goes out to you um, there's nothing all of a sudden hun, i got focus on what you want all right so whether <laughs> expectations aren't quite meeting your needs i get you need to focus on your needs okay um show the love does mark and spirit have any messages for me please and thank you i mean reading that all of a sudden i've seen stars the night sky so what would be the stars for you for me usually reflection uh looking up at the sky the memories that type of it but also feeling that connection being close in that way so um i'm not sure what the stars mean to you but um <laughs> that's all i got was the stars i love the way spirit does that at times okay excellent beth good evening really appreciate some guidance uh if you have some please what would be the paperwork honey you need to be focusing on i don't quite want to say study but i do feel like there is study to be done but i get the reference to the need to focus on the paperwork at the moment stop procrastinating is the reference i get so to me it's a feeling get it done and move forward all right so wishing you all the best kerry saying 11 and 4 but always 11 yep so and louise is saying thank you leanne you're welcome 11 11 and kelly kerry is saying yes i love all the things all right beautiful um who haven't I done any for me? And does my brother in spirit have anything uh, to tell me? Honey, what does the music mean to you? I feel like there's a piece of music that repeats itself or has meaning to it that will keep presenting itself to you. Because he says he puts the signs in front of you 
and I do feel it is in that music form, but I don't feel like you're listening in the way that you need to. Would I be right in saying your brother was a bit cheeky and would keep you very much on your toes? Because I kind of feel like I need to niggle in a loving way in that sense. All right, so please know there's a lot of love that comes through from him. Okay. Um, Kerry says, oh, my God, I'm being dismissed constantly. Stand your ground, honey. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, there's a like there's questions. Five minutes, I'll be done. <laughs> My daughter's come to see me. Rashina, you're welcome. Amy, you're welcome. Um, there's a few questions with people wanting to know when they'll meet their partner soon. I always get, I always say to people, focus on you, have fun, let that inner child come out and play and be yourself. And when you're not necessarily focusing so much on the relationship side of it and just trusting and surrendering, it will quite often happen. Okay. Amy says, I love you, but I think it was actually meant to be him. <laughs> okay. I love it. All right, gorgeous people. Um, I will leave it there. Oh, Violet says, a butterfly flew in front of my window. What could this mean, please? And thank you. Uh, you're very welcome, honey. Um, so quite often butterflies, like for me, are signs from spirit. So when I see butterf like beautiful butterflies, it reminds me of my grandmother um, in spirit. So I always say when you see those things, and they catch your attention, trust your very first thought. So if your mind goes to a certain thing or a certain person, that is their soul with you at that time, or you need to take more notice around that side of it, okay? Um, it's your monkey mind that steps in second and questions, you question things. Did I imagine that? Was I overthinking that? Did I want to think that? So trust that very first thought, honey, as well. Um Amy says, my brother died and he told me AJ was my soulmate. He died and uh, they think he was murdered. Okay. There needs to be some more investigation done into that, honey. All right. Something's not quite adding up, but I do, try, I do feel that you're on the right pathway with that. Okay. Kind of feel, oh, I hate when spirit does this to me kind of feel like I've got two replace, like two reports. Um, so whether two different people have worked on that case, put together, they will be, it's like when they're not together, there's no clarity to it. But when they're put together, I feel like the bigger picture is drawn sort of thing. So two people need to put their heads together, so to speak, with their notes, and it will all match up is the reference I get there. Sending you lots of love, honey. All right. Um all right, I think, hey, Juanita. Oh, sorry, huh? Uh, frustrating with my in-laws. I think I put my foot in my mouth yesterday. Oops. <laughs> it's how we move forward, honey. All right, so sending you lots of love. Um, Lisa says, thank you, Leanne. Yes, frustrated, but more that he is trying to find work and he has been unable, frustrated because he's been taken a wrong path, but do, um, do you feel he's turned the corner? I think he has too, honey. And do you do ask lots of questions, but maybe not the right questions? So keep asking, huh? All right. All right, beautiful souls. I am going to leave it there. There is still a lot of questions. Uh, hey, Kath, how are you going, honey? Let me bring that up. Um, Amy, if you're feeling in danger, honey, reach out for help. All right. Um, yeah. Where can you go where you feel most safe? All right, because I'm feeling your frustration around all that stuff too. But at the same time, I want to say you need to trust your intuition, okay? We have these thoughts, these feelings for reasons, okay? Uh, if it would be okay, I would love to have a chat sometime. Certainly, hun. 
definitely and if anybody wants to have and uh, wants help with learning how to um strengthen or to grow their own intuition please do check out my beginners level one class online um it's just leannewinston.com and you'll find my workshops there um as well if you are are interested i've got a mosquito on my foot sorry uh, if you are interested in becoming a inner soul member uh, sorry inner circle member or joining the lwpm mini membership please do and i did it again right in the wrong hand jump into leannewinston.com and the link is just up there as well become a member we'd love to have you join the inner circle family and the mini membership um lots of goodness in there as well and lots of beautiful souls like-minded souls as well all right beautiful souls i am heading to bed take care stay safe and just keep doing you be the best version of yourself that you can bring that focus back within and that it will bring balance back into your life if you are after a deck of my cards you can find the link through my website leannewinston.com or you can jump over to inner soul oracle um inner soul guidance dot com dot au i need sleep <laughs> all right all the best take care and i will see you all very soon bye for now